Hey guys, Kevin Yanikowski with Katie Psych. Let's get into psychosis. So psychosis is losing contact with reality. And that's really key, right? Schizotypal, you probably have a confusion between what is the difference between schizophrenia and schizotypal, right? They still have, they both have these weird um, thought patterns. Um, some, uh, you know, can have almost what would seem like hallucinations or these, these uh, thoughts of what's really going on is different than reality delusions where schizotypal is more in tune with reality you can convince them that they're being weird um, not in everything but in some things whereas schizophrenia they have lost contact with reality that is the key they've lost contact with reality also uh, just important to note that they're nonviolent. okay schizophrenics are nonviolent. they're just really weird um, not not to be hating on schizophrenia people or schizophrenics so the first type we have is paranoid type, okay? This involves suspicion, grandiosity. The suspicion is obvious because of the paranoia, um, but then hallucinations and delusions. And there's usually some sort of connection with uh, a fear for oneself because uh, you're afraid that others will harm you, okay? And these tend to be where the delusions come from, right? Thinking that there's aliens, you know, beaming into your head right now. Well, why are you, why are you thinking that? Because you have a fear that you can get harmed as a result, okay? If you'll notice, they never really tell you, but a lot of things here are wrapping into these fears, right? There, a lot of them are stemming from some sort of fear. So that can help you understand where is this disorder really coming from, all right? Um, so paranoid, you do have these positive symptoms of hallucinations and delusions, or and slash or delusions. You have one of the two, okay? Now, incoherent speech, is another thing that you can have, but that one is uh, specifically in disorganized type, unless you have incoherent speech with hallucinations, uh, hallucinations or delusions, okay? So disorganized type does not have hallucinations or delusions. They are specifically incoherent speech or thoughts. Now that is a positive symptom. You might think that it's a negative symptom as in taken away. You're taking away your ability to actually speak normally. However, it is not the case. It is like you gain this ability to not have anyone understand what you're saying. <laughs> so it is actually a positive symptom. Incoherent speech is a positive symptom. Uh, let's move on to the next one, catatonic. Now, catatonic is referring to these changes in like body posture. Okay, um, So that catatonia is relating to these weird body positions as a result, you seem withdrawn, and you are withdrawn. You have odd positions, and you're generally negative. And there's actually studies that have been done to show that if you have a more, um, I guess, what's the word that I should be using, uh, open sort of body posture, that your mood peaks, your testosterone increases, your estrogen reduces. Um, and this is both the same for girls and guys, um, just the proportions are different. And as a result, you become happier, whereas the opposite is true when you do this. And it does depend a little bit on culture. Uh, Japanese are slightly different. Um, but what I'm getting at is catatonic patients, and that, that mnemonic is really just understanding what the word catatonia is relating to. Um, but that, that catatonic patient is in this weird body position all the time. And when they're like that, they actually are, are, are hurting the hormones which would normally make them happy because you just having a smile on your face can increase those happiness hormones such as dopamine, serotonin, etc. Anyways, let's move on. Undifferentiated, pretty much what you'd expect. Uh, Non-specific type, we don't really know uh, where they exactly fit. Okay. A residual is when you've been diagnosed with it before, you had positive symptoms, and by the way, uh, in the medical field, an abbreviation for symptoms is SX, but if you are actually typing it out or whatever into charts, um, some hospitals are okay with it, some aren't, some doctors are okay with it, some aren't, so abbreviate where you want, but I like to use the abbreviation. So no current symptoms, but you are apathetic and lethargic. Okay, now that is not a positive uh, symptom. It is considered a negative symptom, so I guess you, you can't say no current symptoms. I was really referring to no positive current symptoms, okay? But you do have that apathy and lethargy. Now let's just go quickly into the symptoms. So delusions is one, again, thinking that things are going on that really aren't. You're, you're, you're imagining a different reality, 
different reality. Whereas hallucinations are you're actually seeing it. Now that, that doesn't mean you have to believe it, but that is a hallucination. A delusion is when you believe this stuff. You believe in this alternate reality. Uh, hallucination. Speech problems is relating to that incoherent speech that, uh, and incoherent thoughts can cause that incoherent speech. Disorganized um, slash catatonic behaviors. Again, that's referring to that you know weird like body posture stuff. Um, echopraxia. Echo, think of mimicking. So praxia is referring to the movement. So you're mimicking movements. So echopraxia is if I was with you right here and you were to do this and then I mocked it and did this and I just kept doing that. That is echopraxia. Um, so apparently that is a positive symptom of schizophrenia. And there is echolalia. Think of like la 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 making that sound. That would be using your voice, right? So you're echoing somebody's voice. Echolalia. And negative symptoms, flat affect. If you didn't know, affect refers to your emotion, but you should know that by now if you're on this video. Uh, flat is no emotion. Apathy, it, you don't uh, you don't have any you don't care about things. Okay, you're apathetic. L lethargy is down to the bottom, which is you have no motivation to do anything. And then withdrawn, um, you're withdrawn from society. Okay, so these people remember that they all have a loss of contact with reality. That is key. Don't forget it. I'll see you in the next episode.